Yeah, I would just echo that. I would say that um, if, if you need to network to grow your business, if you need to do market research to understand your competitive <laughs> marketplace, um, then you need to be paying attention to these social channels, whether it's just setting up a Google alert to ping you whenever somebody says something about your company. You could set up Google alerts for, like, we're an advocacy organization. Uh, we represent the business community in Annapolis, so I have Google alert, alerts set up for Maryland business health care, Maryland business taxes, and whenever something's mentioned in the media, something's mentioned on the blog, something's mentioned on Twitter, uh, get an alert, and it's just a good way to understand what's going on out on the internet. So from a market research standpoint, I think that it's critical. From a networking standpoint, I think it's just another uh, tool in your marketing toolbox. One of the things I like to tell people that they're not sure whether they should go on Facebook or in particular Facebook because I think if you're worried about what you're going to be writing and, and, and how you should approach it, I give the advice about just be a fly on the wall, just set up a really basic account and just watch what other people are doing. And the people that I saw do this where they just kind of set up the account and then I saw them slowly but surely starting to post. The one, I just came from the ASCPA tech show in Vegas and one of the big, best pieces of advice that I can hear is at the very least, set up an account, even if you do nothing with it, so that you can protect your name. Because the names are starting to get taken really quick. And especially if you have a common name, you might want to put, you know, Joe Smith CPA or, or put your geography with it. Because it's starting to be where you're having to put your name backwards or initials. And pretty soon, all those, just like websites, when you're trying to put up something for your firm, if the name's taken, you're going to get to this point where people are searching for you and somebody else's profile's coming up.
That's a very, you know, the, your, your point about the tools, I, I guess Nancy, I think is a good one. And, uh, well, I think it's important for, for people to be paying attention to social media and, and getting involved. I, I often go back to a quote, I think, I, I, I believe it was Chris Brogan who, who said this, um, or no, it was uh, 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 Seth, uh, Seth Godin um, in, in his blog. Um, there are some tools that he just won't touch. Uh, and, and his reason is that he doesn't want to do any of this stuff halfway. He says doing it halfway is worse than, than not doing it at all. Um, it, it, so I think the idea is to find what works for you um, and, and, and go with that, rather than maybe trying to stretch yourself too thin. You know, play around a little bit and find what really works for you uh, and make that your, your tool of choice. I mean, I have to constantly um, be, be on guard because I have such a um, strong presence on Twitter. I, I really, that's really been an incredibly useful tool for me for distributing the content of my blog and getting people who wouldn't ordinarily read about the accounting profession and the big four accounting firms to actually read something that I've written. And that's the purpose of Twitter for me, is to get them to be uh, interested in the blog and what I'm writing, uh, whether or not they're in the industry. Uh, but you see all these people and you meet all these people and now I have all kinds of people that I'm interacting with and the tendency um, to see all these what I call them gadget boys. You have people who are really into like every new, new, new tool, every new software, every new application, every new kind of iPhone, every new kind, you know, everything. And there's a tendency to think that you're going to get behind if you don't at least know or try. But I remember yesterday I answered a question, a good friend of mine, Alan Schoenberg, is the director of communications for the uh, Chicago Mercantile Exchange Group, and he put out a question, um, stumble upon or dig or delicious? And I just said, none of the above. My, my SM life is very simple. And, and that's exactly why, because I can only absorb so much. I'm of a certain age, and I think if I'd have to remember one more password, something's going to drop out the pile. if you're going to do this for marketing. 